Christian Lewis and Lyles. Worker in fine steel didn't quite crack the top 40. Nice right, that Not one of your best ones, lad. What was the famous club at in Liverpool where the guy hit you in the face? The state. Have you heard of the state club in the 80s? It was where Frankie goes to Hollywood film their, you know, their infamous uh, video in the boxing ring and that. Right, so we would have come home from Virgin with the 12 inch version of Working with Fire and Steel. And we went straight from the train station, Lime Street, to the State Club, you know, because it would have been a, a weekend night. We would have went in and gone up to the DJ and hoped he'd play it, you know. And of course, it was the club to go to, and everybody went there. In one corner, the Bieko and the Bunny Man, and the other corner, it's Dead or Alive, and then China Crisis were in there. And they put Waco and Fire and Steel on the 12 inch single, and we managed to fucking clear the dance floor. And I took that, uh, I mean, I could be wrong, but I took that as an omen of, that's not good. Red sails! Are you fucking mental? It's the east side of African and one can't close the fucking show with that. Well, we can actually because I must admit it is one of my favourite songs as well. Yeah. Oh, we, we normally play that in the quartet, so you'll have to come and see us again as the quartet. Um, whatever. Yeah? Is that Sophie shouting out? Stop shouting out, will you? Anyway, uh, right, we've come to the end. Um, well, uh, you know what we do, we pretend to do a last song and then we do another one. So there's two songs to go. But I just wanted to take a minute while we're all here and you to have a think about all the people who've been serving you tonight on the bar. Long of the sound, and Andrew King on the merchandise table, and Mark and his buddies, the farmers, and the other duo. It's, and thanks for coming along, you know, I have said this to you before, but it's very important, the smaller venues get your support, really. The theatres, they get all the smash shows, don't you know, all, everything you've seen on the fucking films is in the theatre, isn't it? Suddenly everything's a fucking musical, you know. I mean, no doubt once me and Eddie are gone, we'll be a musical. <laughs> and there'll be a little Chinese boy playing Eddie. <laughs> Jimmy Hill look at my <laughs> And the arenas, well, they're blockbuster events, aren't they, really? And it's fucking football stadiums, isn't it? They're, they're not satisfied with arenas. Fuck that shit. I'm getting in the football, but do you want to Anfields? What the fuck is going on? Well, oh, anyway, anyway, shush now. I'm, 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 what I'm saying is, thanks for coming along and supporting the smaller venues. There's a reason. There's, there's a reason we play them, and we play a lot of them, and that's because we've got to earn a living. That's, that's the brutal fucking truth of the world. Do you know what I mean? But, when you do that, will you give a big round of applause for all the merch and the sound? It is a great venue, it's in a great part of town, we love coming, and I should imagine we'll always come ready, even when there's only one of us here. And, and, and it's Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like that. Who is it? It's Jack Grandad, you know, the one that played the keyboards. I don't fucking remember him. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, it has been great. We'll finish off with our first hit record, which we now dedicate yes. to all the DJs of the day that made it happen for us. They yeah. really did. Yeah. John Peel had us in doing sessions. Kim Jensen had us in doing sessions. But our very, very favourite was Miss Janice Long. Yeah. We remain friends with Janice right up until the end. And we were at a wedding only a few years ago, and she was great friends with Eddie. Uh, oh, I mustn't forget Cheggers, who was Janice. Yes. Janice Long's brother was Cheggers. Cheggers plays pop, you remember that? 
Well, we did get offered Checkers Players Pot. You know, you know, Moon Tragedy and Mystery was out as a single, and it was just staggering, hovering around the 50, 45 mark. And Virgin Records said, Guys, fucking great news, we've got your Checkers Players Pot. That'll get you into the charts. And we all went like that. I'm not fucking doing Checkers Players Pot. Fuck off, get us the tune. So. So, we, we didn't do Checkers Players Pop, and guess who did it in our place? The police. What a fucking slap in the face that was, you know what I mean? Can you imagine uh, China Crisis turning it down and then someone's on the phone to sting it, you know, in the police headquarters? Sting, man! They don't want to do it, China Crisis. I, I will do it, I'll fucking have it. We'll have it, we'll go fucking large. <laughs> anyway, that's just one little, one little nugget for the book. It has been great, really great. Thanks for coming along, ladies and gentlemen. Christian. Yeah.